All right, what's up, everybody? I want to show you guys how we use the color warper and the magic mask to isolate a color and change the color of this jacket and this shot. We went from this green to like the gray color. So let's check out how we do that. So I took the clip and went over magic mask. This is a studio only feature, but it's one of those features that makes it worth it. And I did one single stroke. As you can see down here, we have a stroke. You can get a little more in depth with that if you need to, depending on how it's responding. But in this particular case, I didn't need to. I just selected the back of her jacket here. And then you track it forwards and backwards. You have a few different tools, much like your regular key tools down here. Faster, definitely does a quicker job, better. Pretty much always cleans it up without having to touch anything. But as I said, I barely made any adjustments down here and just let it run. You'd see a little bit of bleed on the shoulder here. And then they have a mask overlay. So you could see here, there's this uh, red bleed down on her pants. So you normally want to pull that out. But if we toggle it on and off, you could see it really is kind of doing a minimal shift. So not too bad, especially when you go for the full wide shot here. It's like a gray color. And if you keep an eye on some of the other greens within the shot, like the traffic lights, street signs, or maybe the plants over here, if you were to key it any other way, that would be a problem because it would latch onto those greens. But with the magic mask, you're able to isolate pretty efficiently. And then to get the color adjustment, I used this color warper and just went around into the green section. And there's quite a few tools down here, ones that can help you choose whatever color you're looking for or grab the whole ring if you need, or just a segment. So you'll have to experiment based on what you need on how you wanna use this tool. You can also shorten the range, things like that. And it gives you a little pop-up if you wanted to draw, like choose the color. So as you can see, the whole thing moves. So if we were wanting some other color, it's gonna follow your selection tool at the top. And then you could still lasso down here like you would any other keyframes and then move them in conjunction. So it's pretty versatile. You can also do it by grid. So there's quite a few options down here and there's different formatting. Depending on what you're working with, you're gonna get different results. You can change the Luma saturation and the hue. Then you can change how many points you have down here and you can link them. But it does a pretty nice job on my experience. I have another shot over here that I did something similar with this glider flying. If we play this. Originally, it's got this pink. And I just did the same thing. Magic mask. We'll go over to where the last known track. I just did a single stroke on this one as well. And then use the color warper to pull out quite a bit more of the color. Just to get it into that green teal kind of color. And I tried another shot here with these ladies walking up an escalator, but this one started to fall apart a little bit where there was like changing light on this laptop and especially the corner where her hand is holding. So it didn't perform as flawlessly. I'm getting kind of poor playback here. So you can't really see it in real time, but if we zoom in, originally, her jacket was red. So still a pretty fantastic job, all things considered. And it's a single node. This one I did have to use more strokes, as you can see. I think I'm up to 11 to really block out. I gave quite a few on the jacket. And then I went in and finessed the laptop and a little bit of the reflections. I tried to think of another way to conquer that. Is there? There was a couple points where the light was moving and it kind of blew the effect 
you could render it out and get real-time playback. And it's fairly convincing, although I can see her nails kind of got changed a little too. So maybe could window that and key it uh, to make it a safe zone, but not too bad. But that's how you can use Magic Mask. Once again, that's a studio-only feature, but one of the features that makes it worth the price of admission. So Magic Mask and Color Warper to change these objects inside of a full shot without altering the surrounding colors. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.